First Story, by Kate Thompson I never expected a simple hike in the dense woods of upstate New York to become a descent into a nightmare. It was a crisp autumn day, the kind where the sunlight filters through the orange and golden leaves, creating a kaleidoscope of colors on the forest floor. I decided to take advantage of the picturesque scenery and explore a trail that led deeper into the heart of the woodland. As I ventured farther from the beaten path, the sounds of civilization began to fade. The only noise that surrounded me was the rustle of leaves beneath my boots and the distant call of birds. The serene atmosphere, however, was disrupted by an unsettling feeling, a tingling at the back of my neck that suggested I wasn't alone. Brushing off my unease as mere paranoia, I pressed on. The forest grew denser, and the sunlight struggled to penetrate the thick canopy. It was then that I caught a glimpse of movement, a shadow flitting between the trees. I halted, scanning the surroundings, but saw nothing. My heart quickened, and I convinced myself it was just a trick of the light or an animal. As I resumed my hike, the feeling of being watched intensified. It was as if unseen eyes bore into my back. My steps became hesitant, each crackle of leaves beneath my feet echoing in the stillness. I quickened my pace, attempting to shake off the sensation, but it clung to me like a shroud of uncertainty. The forest, once inviting, now felt claustrophobic. The trees seemed to close in around me, and the shadows cast by their branches took on sinister shapes. A distant twig snapped, and I spun around, my senses on high alert. Still, there was no one in sight. I reached a small clearing bathed in dappled sunlight. Relieved, I paused to catch my breath, convincing myself that my imagination was playing tricks on me. That's when I noticed it, a figure standing at the edge of the clearing, partially obscured by the foliage. A chill raced down my spine as I locked eyes with the mysterious stranger. Dressed in tattered clothes, the person seemed out of place in the pristine wilderness. Their unwavering gaze bore into mine, devoid of any discernible emotion. Fear gripped me, but I couldn't tear my eyes away. Without a word, the figure retreated into the shadows, disappearing as swiftly as they had appeared. Panic surged through me, and I stumbled backward, scrambling to put distance between us. The forest, once a sanctuary, now felt like a labyrinth, and I was trapped within its depths. As I retraced my steps, the forest seemed to close in around me, the air growing thick with an oppressive tension. Every crackle of a twig or rustle of leaves sent shivers down my spine. It was then that I heard it, a low, guttural growl emanating from the underbrush. My heart pounded in my chest as I quickened my pace, no longer concerned with the quiet beauty of the woodland. The growls grew louder, accompanied by the sound of stealthy footsteps behind me. I dared not look back, my instincts urging me to escape the unseen menace. Finally breaking through the tree line, I stumbled onto the main trail, gasping for breath. The growls faded, but the memory of the mysterious figure lingered. I reported the incident to the local authorities, but they found no trace of the person in the woods. To this day, the image of that silent figure haunts my dreams, a reminder that even the tranquility of nature can conceal the unknown. The woods I once found solace in are now a place of apprehension forever tainted by the enigma of the stranger who watched from the shadows. Second Story by Brian Miller It was a fog-laden evening in the coastal town of Newport, Oregon, where the whispers of the ocean breeze blended with the distant cries of seagulls. I, an avid photographer, decided to capture the ethereal beauty of the coastline under the veil of mist. Little did I know that my pursuit of a perfect shot would lead me into the realm of the inexplicable. Equipped with my camera and a determination to embrace the eerie ambience, I ventured to a secluded stretch of coastline known for its jagged cliffs and hidden coves. The fog enveloped the landscape like a silent ghost, reducing visibility to mere meters ahead. It was in this atmospheric setting that I saw him, an enigmatic figure standing at the water's edge. The stranger's silhouette emerged from the mist, his back turned to me. Dressed in a long, dark coat that billowed in the wind, 
he seemed oblivious to my presence. Intrigued by the mystery of the solitary figure, I raised my camera, aiming to capture the haunting beauty of the scene. As I approached, the rhythmic sound of footsteps against the wet sand echoed through the fog. The stranger remained stationary, his attention fixed on the vast expanse of the Pacific. The waves crashed against the rocks below, creating a symphony of nature that underscored the surreal encounter. I hesitated, unsure whether to announce my presence. Something about the stranger's demeanor set me on edge, as if his very essence resonated with an unspoken threat. Against my instincts, I continued to close the distance, determined to capture the essence of this mysterious encounter. With each step, the fog seemed to intensify, creating an ethereal backdrop for the enigmatic figure. It was then that I noticed a peculiar detail. The stranger's reflection in the wet sand bore no resemblance to his physical form. Instead, it morphed into a distorted, almost monstrous image. A sense of foreboding washed over me as I fumbled with my camera settings. The stranger's movements became erratic, his figure shifting with each undulating wave. The atmospheric soundscape heightened the tension, the rhythmic crashing of waves now resembling a dissonant melody. Just as I managed to focus my lens, the stranger turned to face me. The fog obscured his features, leaving only the unsettling glow of his eyes. The realization struck me like a sudden chill. He was not alone. Shadows, indistinct and formless, coiled around him like malevolent specters. A primal instinct urged me to retreat, to escape the clutches of this inexplicable encounter. I stumbled backward, my heart pounding in my chest. The stranger, now fully facing me, raised an arm in a gesture that seemed both inviting and threatening. It was then that I heard a haunting whisper carried by the sea breeze, a voice that seemed to emanate from the very depths of the ocean. Unable to comprehend the surreal events unfolding, I fled from the coastline, leaving the enigmatic stranger and his eerie presence behind. As I reached the safety of civilization, the foggy memories of that evening lingered, leaving me with more questions than answers. The photographs I captured that night revealed nothing but the haunting beauty of the mist-shrouded coastline. The mysterious figure, the distorted reflection, and the unearthly shadows remained elusive, hidden within the folds of the fog. Newport, with its picturesque charm, concealed secrets that transcended the boundaries of the tangible, leaving me with an indelible mark of disquietude. The mysterious encounter on that fog-laden evening became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most picturesque landscapes can harbor the enigmatic and the unknown. The coastal town of Newport, forever steeped in the whispers of the ocean breeze, held within its misty embrace the lingering echoes of a surreal encounter that defied explanation. Third Story by Sarah Mitchell the towering pines of the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York provided a majestic backdrop for my annual solo camping trip. With a backpack laden with essentials and a sense of adventure, I set out for a few days of solitude in the heart of nature. Little did I know that the serene beauty of the wilderness would soon be tainted by the presence of a mysterious stranger. My chosen campsite was nestled near a secluded lake surrounded by dense woods that echoed with the sounds of rustling leaves and chirping crickets. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the forest into shadows, I set up my small tent, the nylon fabric rustling in the evening breeze. The first night passed without incident. The crackling campfire provided warmth and comfort as I gazed at the starlit sky. The following morning, however, brought an unexpected twist to my solitary retreat. As I explored the forest, camera in hand, I felt an unsettling sense of being watched. At first, I dismissed it as the natural paranoia that can accompany isolation, but the feeling persisted. I scanned the dense underbrush, half expecting to spot a fellow hiker or a curious woodland creature. Instead, my eyes locked onto a figure standing at the edge of the clearing. The stranger, clad in tattered clothing, blended seamlessly with the shadows of the forest. Their face, partially concealed by unruly hair, bore an expression that vacillated between curiosity and something more sinister. 
Unease gripped me, and I instinctively reached for the small knife strapped to my belt. The figure made no move, their eyes fixed on mine. As I cautiously approached, the undergrowth seemed to swallow them whole. The forest fell into an eerie silence, punctuated only by the rhythmic tapping of my heart. I shook off the unease, attributing it to the tricks played by the dappled sunlight filtering through the canopy. That evening, as darkness enveloped the woods, a distant sound pierced the stillness, the melancholic notes of a harmonica. The haunting melody resonated through the trees, drawing me toward its source. Guided by both curiosity and trepidation, I followed the haunting strains, my senses heightened by the unfamiliar tune. In a small clearing, I stumbled upon a weathered harmonica lying on a moss-covered rock. No one was in sight, but the feeling of being watched intensified. The forest, once a sanctuary, now felt like a labyrinth with unseen eyes tracking my every move. Sleep proved elusive that night. The haunting melody continued, echoing through the darkness like a spectral lament. As dawn broke, I decided to cut my camping trip short, the oppressive atmosphere of the forest weighing on me like a heavy shroud. Packing my belongings, I retraced my steps, glancing over my shoulder with each snapping twig and rustling leaf. The sensation of being followed persisted, a shadowy presence that seemed to move in tandem with mine. As I emerged from the woods, the clearing revealed no trace of the mysterious stranger or the haunting harmonica. The pines stood silent, their secrets guarded by the natural serenity of the wilderness. The figure remained a spectral enigma, an encounter that blurred the line between the tangible and the unknown. New York's Adirondack Mountains, with their timeless beauty, held within their embrace the echoes of a mysterious presence that defied explanation. The solitude of the wilderness, once a source of solace, now carried the indelible mark of an encounter with a stranger whose silent gaze lingered in the shadows. Fourth Story by Mark Reynolds The sprawling forests of the Olympic National Park in Washington State provided the backdrop for my annual backpacking expedition. Eager to escape the demands of urban life, I embarked on a solo journey into the heart of nature. Little did I know that the towering trees and winding trails would become the stage for a chilling encounter with a mysterious stalker. The first day of my trek unfolded in tranquility, the rustling leaves and distant calls of wildlife creating a symphony of nature. As I set up camp beside a crystal clear stream, a sense of serenity settled over me. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that danced on the forest floor. The following morning, as I navigated a narrow trail that wound through the dense foliage, an unsettling feeling crept over me. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end, and I couldn't shake the notion that I was not alone. The woods, once a source of solace, now felt like a maze of potential threats. My pace quickened, but the sensation of being watched intensified. Glancing over my shoulder revealed nothing but the towering trees and the dappled sunlight filtering through the dense canopy. The forest, however, seemed to hold its breath, as if awaiting an unseen presence to reveal itself. The trail led me deeper into the wilderness, where the thick canopy blocked out much of the daylight. As the shadows deepened, the sensation of being followed persisted. A snap of a twig behind me, a rustle in the underbrush, all signs of an unseen observer. That evening, as I set up camp in a secluded clearing, the uneasy feeling refused to dissipate. The flickering flames of my campfire cast long, shifting shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. The forest, once a sanctuary, now harbored an unsettling energy that set my nerves on edge. In the darkness, a soft whisper carried through the rustling leaves a voice too distant to discern words, yet too close to dismiss. Panic set in as I realized the forest had become a silent witness to my every move. I questioned whether my solitude had been truly uninterrupted. Sleep proved elusive, as every crackle of a twig or distant rustle of leaves sent me into a state of heightened alertness. The moon cast an ethereal glow on the forest floor, 
revealing silhouettes that seemed to move in the periphery of my vision. The following day, I altered my route, attempting to shake off the oppressive feeling that clung to me. The forest, however, seemed to conspire against my escape. The trail twisted and turned, and the landscape became disorienting, a labyrinth that blurred the boundaries between reality and paranoia. As I reached a high vantage point, the panoramic view of the Olympic National Park spread before me. The beauty of the landscape, however, was overshadowed by the persistent feeling of being watched. A lone figure stood at the edge of the clearing, partially concealed by the trees. My breath caught in my throat as I locked eyes with the mysterious stalker. Dressed in earth-toned clothing, their face obscured by shadows, the figure seemed to materialize from the very fabric of the forest. Panic surged as I fumbled for my camera, desperate to capture evidence of the enigmatic presence. But as quickly as they appeared, the figure vanished into the depths of the woods. The landscape, once serene, now echoed with an oppressive silence. The wind carried no whispers, and the rustling leaves held no secrets. Haunted by the encounter, I retraced my steps, my senses heightened with each twist of the trail. The forest, with its towering trees and hidden nooks, concealed the mystery of the elusive stalker. Washington's Olympic National Park, renowned for its natural beauty, held within its depths an enigma that defied explanation a silent witness to a chilling encounter that blurred the line between solitude and intrusion. Fifth Story by Rachel Turner The dense forests of the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee provided the backdrop for what would become a harrowing encounter with a mysterious presence. Eager to escape the bustling city life, I embarked on a solo camping trip seeking solace among the towering trees and winding trails. However, the tranquility of nature would soon give way to an unsettling dance with the unknown. The first day of my expedition unfolded in a symphony of birdsong and rustling leaves. As the sunlight filtered through the dense canopy, I set up camp near a babbling brook, its soothing melody providing the soundtrack to my solitude. Little did I know that the serene landscape would soon transform into a labyrinth of shadows and whispers. The following morning, as I navigated a narrow trail that wound through the thick underbrush, an inexplicable unease settled over me. The forest, once a sanctuary, now seemed to harbor a latent threat. The air grew still, and the sounds of nature retreated, replaced by a haunting silence. The sensation of being watched intensified with each step, a prickling awareness that sent shivers down my spine. I quickened my pace, glancing over my shoulder, but the dense foliage revealed no sign of an observer. The forest, however, seemed to hold its breath, as if concealing a secret just beyond my perception. That night, as I sat by the crackling campfire, a soft rustle in the underbrush caught my attention. The shadows danced around me, and the whisper of the wind carried a distant murmur. Paranoia took root as I scanned the darkness, searching for the source of the disquieting sounds. As I settled into my tent, sleep proved elusive. Every rustle of leaves, every snap of a twig, heightened my sense of vulnerability. The moon cast an ethereal glow through the fabric of the tent, creating a surreal tableau that heightened the isolation of the wilderness. In the pre-dawn stillness, a distant figure emerged from the shadows. Clad in muted colors, they moved with an unsettling grace, weaving between the trees like a phantom. Panic surged as I realized the stranger was not alone. The forest seemed to come alive with unseen observers. I watched in silence as the figure approached, their eyes locked onto mine with an intensity that transcended the natural world. A whispered chant filled the air, carried by the wind as if the very forest itself spoke in a language beyond human comprehension. Unable to tear my gaze away, I felt a strange compulsion to follow the mysterious procession. The trail twisted and turned, leading me deeper into the heart of the Smokies. The trees, once familiar sentinels, now seemed to close in around me, their branches reaching out like spectral fingers. As we reached a clearing bathed in moonlight, the figures gathered in a silent ritual. The air vibrated with an otherworldly energy, 
and the forest seemed to pulse with an ancient power. I stood on the periphery, a silent observer to a ceremony that transcended the boundaries of understanding. The chant grew louder, resonating with a primal force that echoed through the mountains. I felt the very fabric of reality blur as shadows converged, merging into a formless mass. The figures, now indistinct silhouettes, seemed to dissolve into the night. In the aftermath of the surreal encounter, I stumbled back along the trail, the forest releasing its grip on my senses. The once familiar landscape now held an eerie unfamiliarity, as if the very nature of the great smoky mountains had shifted in the wake of the mysterious ritual. Tennessee's great smoky mountains, known for their timeless beauty, held within their depths the echoes of an encounter that defied explanation. The shadows and whispers of the forest became a haunting memory, a testament to the enigma that lurked beneath the surface of the natural world. Sixth Story by Daniel Carter The rugged terrain of the Rockies in Colorado set the stage for my annual solo backpacking expedition, a ritual that allowed me to reconnect with nature and escape the confines of city life. Little did I know that the towering peaks and dense pine forests would become the backdrop for a chilling encounter with a mysterious stalker. The journey began with the familiar crunch of gravel beneath my boots as I ventured into the foothills of the Rockies. The air, crisp and invigorating, carried the scent of pine and the promise of adventure. I set up camp near a pristine alpine lake, surrounded by the majestic peaks that loomed overhead. As the sun dipped below the mountainous horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape, a subtle unease settled over me. The woods, once a source of solace, now seemed to harbor an unseen presence. The rhythmic chirping of crickets and the distant hoots of owls formed a disconcerting symphony that echoed through the night. That evening, as I sat by the crackling campfire, a rustle in the underbrush caught my attention. The forest, bathed in the soft glow of the moon, revealed nothing but the towering pines and the silhouette of jagged peaks against the night sky. Dismissing the unease as a product of my solitude, I retreated to my tent, eager to rest beneath the starlit canopy. Sleep proved elusive, as the forest seemed to come alive with an eerie energy. Shadows danced on the walls of my tent, and the rustling of leaves took on a spectral quality. I listened intently straining to discern the source of the disquieting sounds that permeated the darkness. As dawn broke, I emerged from my tent to a landscape bathed in the soft hues of sunrise. The unease lingered, a subtle undercurrent that tugged at the edges of my consciousness. Ignoring the disquiet, I continued my journey deeper into the Rockies, where the trails twisted and turned like the labyrinth of my own thoughts. Midway through my trek, the sensation of being watched intensified. Every glance over my shoulder revealed nothing but the towering pines and the rugged terrain. The mountains, once a symbol of majestic beauty, now seemed to close in around me, their peaks casting ominous shadows on the narrow trails. That night, as I set up camp in a secluded clearing, a distant howl echoed through the mountains. The sound, haunting and primal, sent a shiver down my spine. I strained to identify the source, but the howls persisted, growing closer with each passing moment. Fear gripped me as the unseen stalker revealed itself. Emerging from the shadows, a lone wolf stood on the periphery of the clearing, its eyes locked onto mine. The forest, now eerily silent, became a theater for an encounter that transcended the boundaries of the natural world. The wolf, it's for a patchwork of moonlit silver, seemed to carry the weight of ancient wisdom in its gaze. I watched in awe as it circled the clearing, a silent guardian of the Rockies. The disquiet that had plagued me dissipated, replaced by a profound connection with the untamed beauty of the wilderness. As the wolf disappeared into the night, the mountains whispered their secrets, and the forest resumed its symphony of nocturnal sounds. Colorado's Rockies, with their towering peaks and dense forests, held within their embrace the enigma of a mysterious encounter that blurred the line between fear and reverence. Seventh Story by Emily Parker 
The mist-laden moors of Dartmoor in England provided the eerie backdrop for a solo hiking expedition that would soon unravel into a perplexing encounter with a mysterious entity. As I traversed the undulating landscape, the swirling fog and ancient stone tours concealed secrets that transcended the realm of the ordinary. The journey commenced on a crisp morning, the rolling hills of Dartmoor shrouded in a spectral mist. Armed with a map and a sense of adventure, I set out to explore the desolate beauty of the moors. The ancient stone tours, weathered by centuries of wind and rain, loomed like silent sentinels in the misty expanse. As the day progressed, the fog thickened, creating an ethereal ambience that heightened my senses. A sense of isolation settled over the moors, accentuated by the haunting calls of unseen creatures and the distant bleat of sheep. Unbeknownst to me, the landscape held within its folds a mystery that would soon reveal itself. In the heart of the moors, I stumbled upon an abandoned cottage, its time-worn stones telling tales of bygone eras. Drawn to the enigmatic structure, I approached with cautious curiosity. The door creaked open, revealing an interior frozen in time, a glimpse into the lives of those who had once sought shelter within its walls. As I explored the dilapidated rooms, a whisper of wind carried through the cracks, and the air seemed to thicken with an unspoken presence. The cottage, an echo of the past, harbored the weight of memories that lingered like phantoms in the shadows. That night, as I set up camp near the ancient cottage, the fog coalesced into a dense blanket that obscured the surrounding landscape. The haunting calls of wildlife took on an unsettling quality, as if the moors themselves were alive with an unseen energy. As I lay in my tent, sleep remained elusive. The moors, shrouded in darkness, seemed to come alive with an indistinct murmuring that echoed through the fog. I strained to discern the source of the disquieting sounds, my senses on high alert in the spectral silence. Dartmoor, known for its ghostly legends and mysterious folklore, became a theater for the unknown. A figure emerged from the fog, a spectral silhouette clad in tattered garments that billowed in the night breeze. The entity, either fully human nor ethereal, moved with an otherworldly grace. I watched in awe as the mysterious figure approached, its eyes reflecting the dim light like orbs in the darkness. The fog seemed to part around it, creating an otherworldly aura that defied explanation. As the entity drew near, an inexplicable calm settled over me, as if the moors themselves had granted permission for its spectral presence. Without uttering a word, the figure gestured toward the ancient cottage. Intrigued and apprehensive, I followed its lead. The dilapidated structure, now bathed in moonlight, became a nexus between the tangible and the ethereal. The entity, a silent guide through the mist-laden moors, communicated through the language of unspoken gestures. Inside the cottage, the air vibrated with an otherworldly energy. Shadows danced on the walls, and the fog outside seemed to press against the windows, yearning to penetrate the sanctum of the abandoned dwelling. The entity, a guardian of secrets, conveyed a message that transcended the boundaries of comprehension. As dawn broke, the figure retreated into the fog, disappearing as mysteriously as it had appeared. Dartmoor, with its timeless allure, held within its misladen embrace the echoes of an encounter that defied rational explanation. The ancient moors, steeped in history and folklore, became a realm where the line between reality and the supernatural blurred, leaving me with a profound sense of awe and wonder. Eighth Story by Benjamin Hughes the sprawling forests of Bavaria in Germany formed the backdrop for my solo hiking expedition, a journey that would take an unexpected turn into the realm of the uncanny. As I ventured deeper into the wooded expanse, the ancient trees and hidden trails concealed a mystery that would leave an indelible mark on my perception of the natural world. The journey began in the quaint village of Birchtesgaden, nestled at the foot of the Alps. Armed with a backpack and a map, I set out to explore the dense woodlands that surrounded the village. The air was crisp, infused with the scent of pine, and the distant echoes of wildlife added a sense of vitality to the serene landscape. As I navigated the narrow trails, the towering trees formed a dense canopy overhead, creating an atmosphere of seclusion. The forest, once a place of tranquility, 
seemed to come alive with an undercurrent of hidden energy. Unbeknownst to me, the woods held a secret that would soon reveal itself in the most unsettling manner. Midway through my hike, I discovered an abandoned hunting lodge, its time-worn facade a testament to the passage of time. Drawn to the enigmatic structure, I ventured inside, where the air carried the scent of decay and the remnants of a forgotten era clung to the walls. The lodge, with its faded tapestries and cracked windows, whispered tales of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. That night, I decided to set up camp near the abandoned lodge, the allure of its enigmatic history intriguing me. The moon cast an ethereal glow on the clearing, and the forest seemed to hush in anticipation. As I sat by the crackling campfire, the shadows danced on the walls of the lodge, creating a play of light and darkness that mirrored the ancient tales etched into the fabric of the Bavarian woods. Sleep proved elusive as the night wore on. The distant hoots of owls and the rustle of leaves took on a haunting quality. It was as if the very essence of the forest had stirred, responding to the dormant secrets of the hunting lodge. An inexplicable unease settled over me, amplified by the subtle sounds that permeated the darkness. As the first light of dawn painted the horizon, a figure emerged from the depths of the forest. Clad in tattered clothing, their face obscured by unkempt hair, the mysterious wanderer moved with an ethereal grace. The air around them seemed charged with an otherworldly energy, as if the forest itself acknowledged their presence. In silence, the figure gestured toward the hunting lodge, an unspoken invitation to delve into the mysteries that lay within. Intrigued and wary, I followed their lead. The lodge, now shrouded in the soft glow of morning, appeared to transcend the boundaries of time. The figure, a spectral guide through the Bavarian woods, conveyed a sense of reverence for the secrets held within its walls. As we entered the lodge, a subtle shift in the atmosphere became palpable. The air seemed to pulse with a forgotten history, and the creaking floorboards echoed with the whispers of long-lost conversations. The figure moved through the rooms with purpose, a guardian of the lodge's enigmatic past. In one of the hidden chambers, we stumbled upon a collection of weathered journals, their pages filled with handwritten accounts of hunts and gatherings long gone. The entries spoke of a mysterious group that convened in the heart of the Bavarian forest, their rituals and ceremonies steeped in ancient traditions. The words painted a picture of a secret society, its purpose veiled in secrecy. As the figure and I delved deeper into the labyrinthine passages of the lodge, the forest outside seemed to come alive with unseen presences. The whispers of the wind and the rustling leaves carried the echoes of a forgotten era. The Bavarian woods, with their timeless beauty, became a realm where the boundaries between the past and the present blurred, leaving me in awe of the mysteries concealed within. Ninth Story by Isabella Miller The misty landscapes of the Scottish Highlands set the stage for a solo hiking expedition that would unravel into a surreal encounter with a mysterious wanderer. As I traversed the rugged terrain, the ancient stones and heather-covered hills concealed secrets that defied the logic of the tangible world. The journey began in the village of Glencoe, where the looming mountains and expansive moors beckoned with an air of mystique. Armed with a backpack and a sense of adventure, I set out to explore the untamed beauty of the highlands. The mist, a constant companion, lent an ethereal quality to the landscape. As I ventured deeper into the highlands, the path led me to an ancient stone circle hidden among the hills. The weathered stones stood as sentinels, guardians of a forgotten era. Intrigued by the sense of history that clung to the circle, I lingered, absorbing the whispers of the wind that seemed to carry the tales of the past. That night, I set up camp near the stone circle, the mist weaving through the heather like ghostly tendrils. The air resonated with an otherworldly energy and the distant calls of unseen creatures added to the haunting atmosphere. As I sat by the campfire, the flames cast flickering shadows on the stones, creating a dance between the tangible and the spectral. Sleep proved elusive, as the mist enveloped the landscape, blurring the boundaries between the real and the imagined. In the hushed darkness, a figure emerged from the swirling fog. Cloaked in a tattered kilt and adorned with weathered symbols, the mysterious wanderer moved with a quiet grace. 
I watched in awe as the figure approached the stone circle, their movements synchronized with the ancient rhythm of the highlands. The mist seemed to respond to their presence, parting around them as they reached out to touch the weathered stones. It was as if the very essence of the landscape recognized the wanderer as a custodian of its secrets. Without uttering a word, the wanderer gestured for me to join them within the stone circle. As I stepped into the ancient enclosure, a surge of energy coursed through the air. The mist thickened, swirling around us like a living entity. The stones, etched with symbols lost to time, seemed to pulse with an otherworldly vitality. In the heart of the stone circle, the wanderer began to chant in a language unknown to me. The ancient words resonated with power, echoing through the mist-laden highlands. The air vibrated with an energy that transcended the tangible, creating a connection between the present and the distant past. As dawn broke, the mist dispersed, revealing the untouched beauty of the Scottish highlands. The stone circle, a witness to the surreal encounter, stood silent and enigmatic. The wanderer, their purpose fulfilled, vanished into the hills, leaving me with a profound sense of having witnessed a moment beyond the ordinary. Scotland's highlands, with their rugged landscapes and ancient mysteries, held within their embrace the echoes of a journey that blurred the line between reality and the supernatural. The stone circle, hidden among the heather-covered hills, became a testament to the timeless magic that lingered in the mist-laden air. Tenth Story by Eva Schmidt The dense forests of the Black Forest in Germany formed the backdrop for a solo camping trip that would evolve into a chilling encounter with a mysterious presence. As I immersed myself in the natural beauty of the woodland, the towering pines and winding trails concealed a secret that would send shivers down my spine. The journey commenced in the village of Triburg, where the ancient trees of the Black Forest whispered tales of centuries past. Armed with a backpack and a sense of wanderlust, I set out to explore the hidden corners of the woodland. The air was imbued with the scent of pine, and the distant calls of woodland creatures added to the symphony of nature. As I delved deeper into the heart of the black forest, the density of the trees created an atmosphere of seclusion. The winding trails led me to an isolated clearing, where I decided to set up camp for the night. The rustling leaves and the soft murmur of a nearby stream provided a soothing backdrop as I prepared for a night beneath the canopy. As darkness settled over the forest, an inexplicable unease crept into the air. The nocturnal sounds that had initially felt comforting took on a disconcerting quality. The wind, whispering through the branches, seemed to carry a message that eluded comprehension. Ignoring the subtle sense of foreboding, I settled into my tent eager to rest beneath the star-studded sky. Sleep proved elusive as the night wore on. The forest, cloaked in darkness, became a canvas for the unknown. The snapping of twigs and the faint rustle of leaves hinted at a presence that lurked just beyond the edges of visibility. It was as if the very essence of the black forest held its breath, waiting for a revelation to unfold. In the pre-dawn stillness, a figure emerged from the shadows— Clad in dark attire that seemed to blend seamlessly with the night, the mysterious intruder moved with a stealthy grace. Panic surged as I watched from the confines of my tent, the unsettling realization that I was not alone in the isolated clearing. The figure, their face concealed by the shadows, approached the campsite with deliberate steps. A chill ran down my spine as I realized the intruder had no discernible features. Their silhouette remained an enigma in the darkness. The air, thick with tension, seemed to vibrate with an unnatural energy. Unable to comprehend the intruder's intentions, I remained motionless in my tent, my breath caught in a silent plea for the unknown figure to pass without incident. The black forest, once a refuge, now harbored a threat that defied rational understanding. In an inexplicable twist of fate, the figure halted at the edge of the clearing, as if acknowledging an unseen boundary. The night air resonated with an eerie stillness, and the mysterious intruder, having conveyed an unspoken message, retreated into the shadows from whence they came. As dawn painted the sky with hues of amber and gold, I emerged from my tent to find the forest restored to its natural serenity. The black forest, 
with its towering pines and winding trails, seemed to conceal the secret of the mysterious encounter. Triberg's village, nestled on the outskirts, held within its embrace the echoes of a night where the line between reality and the unknown blurred in the shadowed depths of the woodland. These stories, woven into the tapestry of different landscapes, share a common thread, a dance with the unknown, where the natural world becomes a canvas for mysteries that transcend the boundaries of the tangible. Each encounter, set against the backdrop of diverse locales, leaves an indelible mark on the protagonists, reminding them that the line between reality and the supernatural is often elusive and ever-shifting. Thank you for joining us for the whole video. That video you see on screen is one of my favorite. Check it out. If you've enjoyed these horror stories, show your support by hitting the subscribe button. Did this tale send chills down your spine? Let me know in the comments.